Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. And last time, well, in between now and last time, I dug up all the chokographs. So, that being said, there is one other thing to note about this, and I'll have to go through some, what some of these things say in a moment, but particularly this one, the chokograph piece. This is part one of six, and I don't think you can get them all right now. In earlier versions of the game, I think you could, but in subsequent releases and re-releases of the game, the, they took that out for reasons that I'll go over much later when we actually get it, presuming I actually remember to do that anyway. Uh, basically, all you need to know at this point is this is piece one of six, and when it's all assembled, you'll be able to... It basically turns itself into the final chokograph that you can go dig up. And once you get that one, lots of other stuff happens and it moves toward the end of this side quest, which will, for all intents and purposes, last the entire game. Um, yeah, upper left of six pieces, so I guess it's either three across, two down, or two across, three down, who knows. Anyway, the Kubo nut that Vivi picked up from the store. And that's all we get. Yay, little moogles are funny. And I'll throw that on there. Yeah. The Master Hunter that Freya received. Hmm. I'm not sure who that's supposed to refer to. I can't remember who was the the previous winner of the tournament. I'm assuming that's what it refers to anyway. The Autograph from Lowell. And yeah. He's just basically a loser. Whatever. And we picked up this. Where did we pick up this? I can't remember where we got this. This might have been in the um, uh, in Tantalus's hideout that we found this, but I can't remember. I really don't remember where I found this. Oh well. Um, the triptych. I don't know how to pronounce that. I really don't. I believe it. From what I've looked up uh, a while ago. I think that means something to do with three, specifically something to do with uh, the Christian religion, but I'm not really too sure. If anybody knows, tell me in comments and then I will actually know what it means. That would be much appreciated. Anyway, it's uh, a cool little thing. There's three of these little mini things. Oh, Google Super Spall, look at that. And yeah, Ilya's grandma, Lilia's grandma, I'm not sure. I think it's Ilya's grandma. Anyway, that uh, Ilya's grandmother was in Alexandria, if I remember right. That right at the beginning of the game, Vivi fell down on his ass looking at um, a fabric that made him dizzy that was on the wall. I believe that's what that refers to. But anyway, now that we've done that, we can open this up. And yeah, if you notice there, my beak level is 33. I can also show you this. Um, yeah, the amount of points I have is massively more than you would normally have. Um, if anyone seems interested in it, I can show off an edited video of me finding all eight items in a, uh, in a game and getting the bonus points. Uh, I was wrong when I said that you could get 600 at this point. You can get 600 at later points in the game when you can get more points. Or when you can, you get more points per th thing depending on certain situations that happen with this side quest. Um, at this point I think the most I got for a bonus for about 30 seconds left over was about 220 or so. Uh, so anyway yeah I could use these I think yeah I could get a one of these which it's useless it's a card. This doesn't become useful until later and yeah like I said before I'm not gonna get any of those via this method. I will get those items via other methods, and yeah. Oops, no. Yeah, you can buy Gasol greens. Um, I from just from digging around, I've picked up about 18 of them. So you should never need to buy them. You can if you want, but yeah. See now, if you go to play, you'll say that there's nothing left. You can still play, dig up more items. Meanwhile, while doing that, I picked up some other interesting items. I probably picked up picked up softs in the last town. Saw greens. Anointments. These cure the trouble status. The trouble status, I'm not sure all of what it does, 
but one of the things that it does is if someone's inflicted with trouble and they're damaged, a percentage of that damage will hit all of your other party members as well. So it's a status if you really want to avoid. Other than that, we can go... Can't do that one. Healing Shore. I think that's later. That's not now. There's ice there, so that's definitely not now. And we've picked up these as well. These, from what you can see of it, obviously requires an ability change other than field. Uh, we'll go over this more when we actually get to that point. But for now, the only other one we can pick up is this one. And in order to get this one, as soon as you go to leave, you'll uh, get to ride Choco out of here. Um, I will go after this in a moment. But first, because I'm already over here, and as soon as it loads, come on, there we go. Yeah, if you press, no, if you open the choker graph menu from here and select this one, yeah, there we go. It'll show up on the world map. And normally that's a good thing. You know exactly what you're looking for from the field. However, you get off the chocobo and it's still there. So once we find it, get back on the chocobo. Thank you we can what you need to do is just go cancel and then it disappears because you don't want that to be on there too long but of course once it's canceled you can't look for that specific one by digging around before i go get that one i am going to make a pit stop here and you should remember this place there was a little ate here and like i said this is a healing spring and in addition to the healing spring over here the remnants of the coffee Sinna was making. We get the mocha coffee. And I don't think there's anything up here because Marcus, being the bastard that he is, stole my treasure. What a bugger. Anyway, so yeah, that's all we can do here. There might be one other item. Is there one other item here? No, I guess not. I was thinking different, different gate. Okay. At this point, we're going to get back on the chocobo. So slow. Yeah. Anyway, back on a chocobo. And just like uh, in the mini game, in order to dig on the world map, you use the square button. Throw this. No, and I got off again. I didn't want to do that. I get off. Uh, you can fight an enemy over here called the Mandragore in the forest around this area. Specifically, the other ones have other enemies as well. And I will show them off a little bit later. But uh, right now, I do want to go pick up these items because they are kind of important. Uh, nope, I want to go this way. Go around this side. See, there's Dragon's Gate. So, am I going the right way? I hope I'm going the right way. Yes, I am. Good. And if you notice, it... There. See? It looks kind of like that. So, if you go right around... Here, here, here. There we go. Found it. Five potion, high potion, two tents, and two cotton robes. Well, I guess I didn't need to keep as many as I did. I always forget that you find a couple there anyway. The cotton robes are very good to have um, for numerous reasons. Uh, you can't go into your menu when you're on a choke well like this. You ought to get off. But, um... I want to... No, I didn't want to do that. I pressed the wrong button. I want to open this up and go cancel because I hate that little... Oh, stop doing that. I pressed the button too fast. Come on. Spin around in a circle. I think I'm going the wrong way. There it is. So much mist on the world map, especially at this point, that it becomes difficult to navigate at times. And I didn't mean to go into the forest. Why did I do that? Oh, I'm having issues today. Go down. Wanted to show off the Mandragora fight. And abuse fast forward. Okay. There we go. Let's get off the Chocobo. And we'll fight these guys. It's interesting to show it off for a couple of reasons. One, they can be extremely difficult to fight if you don't know how to fight them. And two, they're quite, they're quite strong and they give off a lot of experience. And AP and money and stuff like that. So... There, it's a good spot to grind at the, this point in the game. And, oh, ran into one of these guys. 
Well, I guess I could show this. Freya trance. Basically, in her trance, like everyone else, she gets a small stat boost. But she goes up into the air, and her jump becomes continuous. And basically, what that means is she'll stay up there. Throw down her spears. And you notice she didn't jump down afterward? She'll stay up there and just throw spears over and over again. I'm not sh exactly her sure how the mechanic works for that, but there's not a lot of situations where I find that useful because she's got some interesting um, passive abilities that become quite useful later in the game. So I almost never use her jump past maybe disc two. And yeah, so hopefully we've run into the right enemy this time. There we go. The Mandragoras. These guys can be hard. This ability here in particular, the Chestnut ability, this works like Minus Strike. Uh, you know, the... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Steiner's ability. And the reason why that's not a good thing is because they have about 500 life. You can inflict 450 damage on them and then they can use Chestnut on you and you can die. And I've been silenced. So yeah, ooh, I got lucky. If you want to basically kill them all in one round before they get a chance to do that. Uh, oh crap. I gotta attack it now. <laughs> um, I need, what do I need? Uh, echo screen. Good, it's dead. Basically, the way that Quinna's trance works is her eat command, or his eat command, becomes Cook. And what Cook does is allows... Yeah, here we go. I just did 325 damage, was it? Yeah, and it does exactly that. You gotta be careful. <laughs> They're very challenging enemies, especially uh, if you're not paying attention. But anyway, the Cook command over the Eat command. The Eat command, I think the enemies have to be below 10... have to have, like somewhere between 10 and 20% of their max life, or maybe 25. With the cook command, it's significantly higher. I think it's closer to about 40%. So, yeah, see, 153 experience for only two of them. That's more than double what you're getting from most other enemies. Except for maybe the Iron Knights, which are those big-ass pink dragons. They give you a lot of money, too, if you want to grind for money. Though, uh, I prefer the Cotton Robe trick. It's easier. And yes, I definitely need to heal now. That's what potions are for. At this point, I'm going to get on you. There we go. I'm going to try and see what we have left in the Q's marsh over here. See if there's enough frogs that I can dig them up again because I've spent a little bit of time out of there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a save file, go in, and... Uh, clear out some more of them and when I come back either I'll tell you that I cleared out some or I'll tell you that there weren't any to clear out and we'll move on from there. Alright, uh, this is kind of abrupt and unexpected. I did mean to get this before but I never got a chance to. So I can't remember how much life they have whoever written down still. I do, they have about 300 life, and tell me that does one shot you, and I'll try and eat these guys. These are the Gigantoads, and I'll use Thunder on that one, and if it's not dead, I'll try and steal from it. This is another blue magic uh, spell that we can learn for Quina if, yes, Frog Drop. This is the ability I was referring to before um, when I said that eating or catching the frogs in the uh, marsh will up the damage. Uh, so... Oh crap, I really hope that... Because uh, I'm still in the, the marsh right now, I hope there's not... Uh, that I can go and eat all these guys or catch all the frogs, because otherwise I'll have to un... you know, reload my last save and not show this off. And we're back. I wasn't able to eat any of those, uh, or catch any frogs. Why do I have problems with that? Oh, I keep thinking that I'm eating the frogs when I'm catching the frogs. Anyway, didn't have time to do that, or there wasn't enough to really worry about it. 
But anyway, this is where we're going to go next time. And since this video is probably running a bit long, this is Gizmaluke's Grotto. And this is where we go next time to advance the plot. Uh, so anyway, that'll be next time. And I'll see you guys then.